an inn or something inside uh, or outside of the gate. You guys remember uh, this place right here? That's a good place. Which place? Oh, along the road at Rose Road. That one gate that you guys were at that one time. So are you? You're... Is it not loading for you guys? I found a see. I see a little purple square. Oh, that's cool. That you added. I, uh, I I too see a purple square. I hmm, I don't know what purple square this purple square is that you guys describe. Oh, that's Let interesting. It's, that it's right south of King's. Uh, okay, uh, so are you guys a, are you guys still looking at the map? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I keep trying to show you guys a oh. different something. Oh, keep it. Oh. Keep trying because you're failing. Shut up. Is, <laughs> is this? Is this outside the wall? Like, or is yeah, it inside the wall? It's it's outside. It's it's a it's a it's a gate like a derelict gate that is now rather outside the wall. Dave Brock okay. totally picked the lock. Nice. Good job. Okay. You did not have to use a bomb or anything. Yeah. All right. Um, we still so see the map. Right. Still see the map. Okay. Yeah. What about now? Still see the map. No, I see uh, the circle that we the scrying circle. Okay, what? so you guys can't. I can change you. No, let me let me lay, let me uh, reload. Yeah, yeah, it was moving for me, Dave. Good. What about now? I see the scrying circle. All right, great. What about now? I see the bar. Excellent. What about now? Oh, yep. I see, I see yep. the interest to the castle. All right, yeah, these are like the derelict old gates. Um, from an ancient uh, pre-Targaryen civilization, even. Uh, I, if you guys have nothing else pressing, I we can fast forward to meeting Brock there. Yes. Yeah, let's do that. Uh huh. If Brock's okay, oh, yeah, we're meeting there. We're having some loading issues. It looks like since I can't drag anybody onto there. What a hilarious misunderstanding. Maybe I'll reload. Who knows? So when I meet, when I see Brock, I like, I want to, I want to give him like a real slick kind of high five, like kind of something that we just worked out just subtle, you know, but everyone's like, whoa, cause it's, you know, unique. I fondly remember high fives. Oh, what a fantasy world this is where people can freely give each other high fives. Yeah, I, I do that. that that's um, awesome. I, I, I did work some some jobs uh, like a week and a half ago. Mm -hmm. And 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 the 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 foot low five seems to work. You can stay six feet apart and just kind of tap each other's feet. Uh, I like it. At like it might level. I can it play. Become... <laughs> like kids, yeah, fucking kid and play. What are you guys doing? Thanks, thanks, thanks for thanks for ruining it. <laughs> it's like that episode of Community where uh, Chevy Chase buys their cool hand thing off of Abed <laughs> and Troy, and then they can't do it anymore, and it sucks. Exactly. Thanks, Lag Boot. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, our handshake well, totally ends with a kid and play kick. I mean, I don't know why would you guys not use your imagination, you know, for that. I assume it's the the dance of joy for perfect strangers. <laughs> Trying this again. No. What the hell is that? Okay, so let's just say you meet at the circle. Let's say you use some magic <laughs> and... Brock just came to the circle. How about that? Sup, homie. Um, or maybe he just walked there. Because, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You guys, uh, yeah. But that rather than being two days away and you guys meeting somewhere mutually between you guys, Brock just walks for a day and was like, hey, here I am. See, retcon, bitches. <laughs> this had better be leaving fresh bowls of brown for worth leaving fresh bowls of brown for gentlemen it's great to see you all though you could have cool. carried some with you if you wanted you could share it with them so they would know 
uh, I don't think the brown's going to travel too well, um, but I'll bring them some nice stink cheese. You guys like that stinky cheese? Uh, uh, Gabriel's not a huge fan. Brock, man, what's going on? What's uh, where you been? What do you know? Mostly, uh, what kind of tokum did you steal? Wait, I'm oh, we're back. I'm fixing it. Sorry, I realized I had really out of date tokens, and <laughs> your flesh tone is much improved now, right. Delaware. Sorry, Brock, keep going. Ah. Uh, so I'm not sure which tokum I, uh, hang on. We can do like um, a detect magic. You sure can. What uh, is it? Brock pulls, pulls, pulls the tokum out of his, out of his pocket. It's a small, uh, it's a small metal mask. So the way I've seen the little birds use them, it probably is a disguise, but I don't know what it's going to make me look like or if it's going to change my shape or what, because, you know, me and the magic kind of limited there, but I can steal them easy. Wait, who? Where you stole them from the little birds? Yep. Um... They're like the medium birds now. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has been a while. Um, can I do a detect magic on it, Dave, and try and yeah. figure out what's it's freaking? Going? You open your third eye and look at it, and you're like, "Yeah, it's kind of magic. It's the token. Certainly not the most powerful token I've ever seen. There's some flaws in how it was designed." But then, then you zip less. back up. <laughs> <laughs> um, third eye. So. Wait, so, but I guess, like, uh, here's the thing, though. Like, I was the only one making tokens here. That's right. So this either, this this is, like, either uh, someone else learned to do it or. Oh, no, you uh, didn't. You never met uh, this little bird. I don't think. Her name was Mina. You make a token for Mina? No, no. Uh, yeah, I mean, someone yeah. else. Somebody else making. Or she's stealing them from you. I don't think she's as good as <laughs> as I am. She was too easy to steal from. Well, most of my clothes, my my tokens look like like clothes pins and and grip clips, man. So. Uh, oh no, she had a dagger, and this mask, and. Uh, uh, a mirror, the mirror disguised her, and and she used the dagger to kill somebody. Well, that's like not a token, man. That's just like a dagger. You can that's no, no, no. It was, it. <laughs> it was. It wasn't. She didn't stab him with a dagger. I do that. I know how to use a dagger? This was a magic thing that she held, and it did the work for her. That's so magic, right? Like, I guess so. Uh, so is she like a friend of yours, or like? Oh man, I stole this from her. Well, I mean, you can you get the can lot. you get the dagger? She was well, holding no, and I got this out of her pouch. She killed. So she's probably was it someone. Not. Was it someone of of, of importance? She uh. She's, I think she was just trying to steal a merchant. It's like he had papers. She s killed him, took the papers. Like documents? Uh, or, like, or like a stack of paper? No, like papers he was selling. Not like important papers. Like, like spells? Like scrolls? Like, no, like blank papers. Yeah. And Michael like, Scott Paper Company. <laughs> you know. She killed Michael Scott. We have a new... Someone has supplanted uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Abe Vigoda on the... Fuck! Uh, <laughs> She's gotta die. Uh, 
No, so I don't know. I think she was playing maybe she was parchment. Yeah, exactly. Blank parchment. Yeah, like well it was she stole it from she killed the guy that had the parchment. He was selling it. Yeah. And and she Are you telling me I should have saved the guy with the paper? (laughs) Well I thought I was stealing this. I don't really care about the guy with the paper as much as I care about why he was killed. I don't know. Maybe the person making the tokens for Mina like, wanted paper. It was like really nice, uh, like business card really, paper with a pearl inlay. Yeah. Could you, make, could you make nice more tokens with paper? I don't see the connection here. Needed him. Um. So maybe. Do Do you know who's running the little birds, Brock? Ah, oh, man, I've been trying to figure that out for days and trying to find Tyrion too I follow them all around they're just bigger there's less of them but somebody's giving them magic he's he's locked up in a cell yeah he's he's been put to magical sleep I don't know where the cell is but we 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 scried and, and found him it's probably in some dungeon uh yeah I don't he's, know. he's in a dungeon you, with the look... oh, oh oh do you want to ask the high sparrow wait there's a high sparrow still I don't want to no, know he's in my pocket one he's it's just Wait, an, it's a high ass bird like the birds got red eyes and shit like fucking hold on let me pull out the high sparrow one sec the sparrows all take turns being the high one <laughs> <laughs> um, so when the fire blew up the sept it killed a bunch of people and made these weird alchemical pools and there were ghosts that got, you know, bound to that location because they blew up in a f- hellfire. <clears throat> and they were bound in the location and the alchemy just kind of kept them there. So I was able to, you know, just do some alchemy and kept the goats, the ghosts in the, in the puddles. Uh, I wouldn't drink the puddles or anything, but I got Marjorie Tyrell and I got the High Sparrow and I got some people who wouldn't tell me their names. And they're just in bottles. Yeah, they're ghosts. You you know, like you can talk to ghosts. Dude, that's badass, man. Yeah, I mean, let's talk to the High Sparrow. He probably doesn't know anything, but... Can I inhale one of them and make myself stronger? (laughs) I don't know. It's pretty, like... I mean, (coughs) as someone who knows a lot about poisons, I would not drink this. (laughs) Oh, yeah, one thing, I'm... Brock, I don't think you've been brought up to speed on. Um, the sun hasn't set in well over a week by this time. Oh, shit. And it feels like a really, really deep summer. I don't. I apologize for letting that slip for so long. Why's it got to be hot in the wow. game? It's hot in real life. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get some it's a nice gentle saw... breeze, bro. Fuck. Let me There's clearly pretend. no way here. <laughs> All right, let's talk to the High Sparrow. All, All right, right, so Brock, you you pull out, pull out your your file and a beaker, and uh, it definitely has some strange, almost luminescent liquid in it. <coughs> and uh, you say, High Sparrow, or however you try and summon him, and you shake it. Seems pretty inert. Well, maybe it only works there, or maybe they got released from whatever bound them when I put them in the bottles. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, Have you ever so... rebuttaled a sentient being before? Nope. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cool, though. <laughs> I love it. I'm getting a kick out of it. Because I'm just thinking of all the ways you could use it. Like a grenade, like a ghost grenade, throw it into a house. Like, now you guys are haunted. Fuck you. You can also point to it. You can show some people and be like, look there, governor. I got some ghosts in my bottle. <laughs> um, Take a look up the bottle. There's a ghost in there. So... Brock, are they? Is anyone like looking for us? 
like have you noticed like at King's Landing if like are we wanted men? I don't believe so. None of the sparrows were looking for you or the little birds were looking for you or talking about you. Uh you know, the king still wants uh, to give you guys us a, a seat on the council as far as I know. Um but I don't even know who's on it. I kept trying to figure that out. Nobody was telling well, we need to fill about him. it. We need to fill him in on the real dirt um, on what we know. But is there, let me um, send a message inside of his brain so we don't say this out loud uh, because just in case anyone's listening to us, um, I tell him that uh, we know that the there's somebody who's taken over and is working along with Bran uh, and is forbidding any sort of teleportation in, and out, in or out of the realm or unable to fast travel. Uh, we, we need to f- pretend. We, we were planning on pretending that we don't know what's going on, but we know that some unseen nefarious force is controlling the situation with the monsters, and it's most likely an, a, a very powerful illusionist. Well, that could be the person making toxins and tokums then too. B. Because I mean, you know, that Gabe will tell you that's not easy. I can't do that. Yeah, Gabe will tell you um, it's actually a lot easier if you just know a couple of tricks. Well, crap. <laughs> like, yeah, but the tricks are uh, being able to cast the spell and also or having a friend that can cast a spell and also um being able to craft magical items uh so you may be right you might be onto something there because i don't as far as we knew nobody in the realm can use magic so the person whoever is using magic to create tokens might very well be uh who you're thinking uh the person controlling the realm dave what does brock knowledge of alchemy tell him he's still pretty pissed off that after he decanted this ghost into a little you know coffee saucer that nothing's happening what does his knowledge of alchemy uh tell him about that or his craft alchemy tell him about why it's inert well uh looking at it thinking about it uh knowing how ghosts are you think that maybe the power of the sun is keeping the ghost from being able to manifest. Uh, Perhaps that's if a, you were to a, hang out a, in a dank underground space or, you yeah. know. It's really good he had that realization because the next thing he was going to do is try and piss the high sparrow off into talking by peeing in the saucer. <laughs> <laughs> um, is, the, is, the, is there a root cellar or basement anywhere where we're hanging out? Yeah, I'm sure you can find one. Uh, You guys aren't too far from a little hamlet village. And everyone there knows about the Bahoom clan, so... There might be a basement in this tower we're standing next to, and I gotta tell you, it's been days since I blew a hole in any wall or doorway. (laughs) So, (laughs) you know. If you wanna, if you wanna (laughs) make the ruins a little bit ruined, go for it. Do we think there's a big thing uh, underneath here? I mean, rocks itching to blow shit up. Well, maybe keeping like a low profile would be good. Okay, okay, fine. However. Uh, all right, let's go into the root cellar. You guys head down there into the root cellar, preferred by the innkeeper. He's like, by all means, I'm honored that the Bahum clan sees fit to use uh, my special secret locations. Sometimes I do a little bit of smuggling myself, you know. I mean, not lately, but back in the day. Yep, I could move the wine. Nobody had a clue it was me, but I sure made a little bit of money. That's how I afforded to build the second story on on the inn here. Anyway, I'll leave you two gentlemen to it. Um, I'll wait until this is used that the Bahoom clan was in our cellar. Maybe just like wait a week before you tell her. Oh, of, of course. I mean, I'm, I, my the secret is safe with me and my wife. <laughs> yeah, maybe wait a week. Uh, 
Anyway. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Show. Yeah. Yep. Please, this way. You are now in the cellar. All right. Uh, musty smells of tubers. Brock puts, takes the saucer, puts the potion back in the vial, shakes it up, puts the saucer down, pours the potion back in the decants the potion back into the saucer and says, Hey, Sparrow, what the heck? Oh, boo. It says the apparition of the high sparrow as he emanates from the liquid. Very vaporous, mostly just as a reflection. He says, Brock, I apologize for not manifesting out in the sunlight. But the power of the sun is such, I could not present myself when you earlier asked me. I could hear you, though. Well, that's good. Just, you know, now that I know that, it saved your potion from being peed in. So, <laughs> you're in luck there. It would be a calamitous experience. <laughs> So, gentlemen, Sparrow, do you know what's going on? Like, uh, do you know who we are? Do you, like, are you uh, relevant on current affairs or like after you got blew up? Which I'm really sorry about. That was like some major bullshit, man. Like, came out of left field, and uh, I don't know if it really developed the plot at all. The small but, uh, council. I can tell you about these things, for I have a great awareness of the politics of the city. I have very little to pay attention to, sitting underneath a sept. But the little spar- the little birds do come through, and I see them growing with magical power. The false king has a tenuous grip on the throne, and his, as people become wise to his schemes, he has to hide them away with drastic measures of magic. This has dwindled the small council down to nothing but him. The the people see this long summer as one of prosperity, but the king, the false king, knows that he cannot, he cannot, he cannot hold up underneath this sun forever. A tenuous grip. Uh, uh, other than members of his own small council finding out the truth about him, which they were threatening to go public. Like, is there something else threatening him? Is there is there a a a, a person or a or a, a a being threatening him? Sounds like he has a consort of some nature that I am not completely aware. And this consort dangles his desire for earthly pleasures in front of him. And he cannot balance his desire for gain with the needs of ruling a kingdom. The guilt of a crown is a very weight upon a spine. And it seems he is not strong enough to bear it. Heavy mm-hmm. is the head. So, so, what do we know about this tart? I'm sorry? What do we know about this woman? Who is... Con- his consort. Oh, we know very little. Uh, even to assume it is a woman might be too bold. Fair enough. I, uh, uh, I, I admit uh, I made an assumption. What, what do we know about, about the consort? It seems of a demon of sorts. People have heard him talking in the halls of the palace. Got it. Seemingly to himself. Does he rock? <laughs> My, him rock. my ears perk up at the, at the uh, mention of a demon. 
And I kind of look, lift my chin up and yeah, look directly at the, yeah. Describe what the people in the hallway have seen. I've or told heard. you what I've heard. Regarding. Is, is there like an actual physical presence there, man? Or is it just like, you know, uh, whisperings from afar that like are, are uh, messing with, with the king? Remember that. I am only hearing this from afar. I get glimpses when the little birds pass my way. Do you know who's running the little birds? Like, who's in charge of them now? If the, if it's just the king on the small council, like... The false king himself who... has taken over the role of oh, okay. bird, bird master. He's taken over most roles in the small council. He uses spells to make it seem that those are, that there are others involved. All right, who wants to try the mask on? That's all I'm asking, guys. No, oh, it's not big enough. Other... It's a tiny. It's a tiny mask, like well, a keychain. Well, tiny. We could use oh, it. Like it's a. We yeah. use the magic For within the token to disguise ourselves, right? The, the way they, the way that the other ones work is you like. There's a special gesture. Maybe like I can just pretend like I'm putting the mask on, even though is it's small. Anyone? It's in my hand. Is there any way I can study it to uh, figure out what it is? Yeah, totally. Roll a uh, spellcraft or knowledge arcana, <clears throat> whichever is strongest for you. Um... <laughs> Brock puts the mask just on his nose. <laughs> uh, well, I rolled a 20. Critical, critical success. So that's a 35. So. Uh, yeah. knock on wood. Yeah, it's it's uh it's uh like a shadow armor kind of spell like it circles you in shadows and obscures your features and can make it easier for you to hide and sneak around and make it harder for people to identify you if they do well, see you. Apparently it doesn't do any of that shit when you balance it on your nose. Not without <laughs> activating the token as any magic user would know how to do. Do I, um, do, do I notice anything tying it to anything else? Or like, is there any like, you know, uh, um, like, um, I don't know, any lingering uh, aura oh, or whiff of... Yeah, no, now that you're taking whiffs, uh, you recognize the signature. This is uh, Ziggy's style of magic with uh -huh. the uh, yeah um and uh putting some pieces together you're like well we did give him some tokens and they were tokens that we made and if leonard cohen had seen unfit to show him how to make tokens but he was aware of them before perhaps he was able to decode your handiwork in making tokens and start making them on his own using the facilities that you set up before you left King's Landing. As a matter of fact, so basically, this does uh, look like the pewter smith's work that, that you did set up. So rich. Can it be used by it, more than he, one person? He has nationalized your uh, your uh, means of production. My bad, guys. Um, is it a first level spell? Do I think? It is indeed a first level spell. You know what? There's actually some efficiencies designed into it that uh, you had not known of, you had not been aware of, but this thing casts as a move action. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to put that in my back pocket, uh, metaphorically, to try and <laughs> do that myself. I'll just steal another one. Um, oh, metaphor. <laughs> um, so, um, do um, okay. So, okay. So, what what do we know here? 
We, we still know that there's, there's a shadowy figure, but we know it's a demon. So that gives us a little bit of something to go on. Well, the High Sparrow called it the demon. Yes. These guys are pretty primitive in terms of astrological right. um, knowledge, you know. Yeah. But they must you, have some... Well, <laughs> yes, like, you appear to be a demon to them, but all of you may appear demons to some of these people, some of these yokels in this hick backwater they oh, magic setting. They don't discern toilets. Yeah, they don't. Where do you even leave an upper decker in this kingdom? It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> um. So, all right. Who's the worst at sneaking? <laughs> I'm the best. I can go invisible with my cloak. That's powerful. Uh, uh, it's one of us then, I guess. So, if Delaware, you, you uh, could use that to obscure yourself. I mean, yeah. I'm kind of one. Gabriel can be bait. I'm kind of one with the shadows, man. Like, uh, my self check's not bad. Um, yeah, and also my armor is glamoured, so I can just change it into different armor or clothing. So, do you want to take it, uh, Delaware? Yeah, I mean, not... just changing my outfit is the best I can do. I, I mean, I can bluff my way through things, but I am certainly not, uh, not as good at sneaking. I have disguise abilities, but uh, are you? Are you wearing any armor? Yeah. I got some extra armor from Leonard. Oh. Um. What, you think he was naked? Well, I mean, he's got fancy dancy clothes on. Oh, okay. Uh, do I know the name of the spell, Dave? Shadow armor. Shadow armor. Uh, or near about. That? Yeah. I, I is there, are, is there some shadow armor? There, I, I don't think. I there. remember one from second edition from a dragon magazine, <laughs> which is what I'm basing it off of. <laughs> uh, there is uh, a knight armor, N I G H T, armor of darkness. Uh, But those are all like uh this spell envelops the target in shadows and can if you desire conceal the creature's features uh grants uh plus three deflection bonus to armor class plus one for every four levels maximum of eight subject can see through armor and gain dark vision uh of 60 feet plus two bonus on saving throws against holy good light uh spells or effects uh, but that's a fourth level spell. Nope. Uh, knight armor is also a fourth level spell. Let's say, okay, let's take a look at knight armor here. Flow up around you, defending you from incoming attacks. It reduces incoming damage, granting you a DR5, as well as benefits of a knight shield spell. In addition to these effects, what's a knight shield spell? Night Shield. <clears throat> ah, your shadows flow up as a swirling barrier, moving to intercept long range attacks. The Night Shield protects you from magic missile spells as a shield spell. Uh, in addition, the shadow deflects a single range weapon attack each round. The similar missile shield feet that you do not need to be wearing armor to deflect each other. Surely, what I'm thinking of. Uh, let's just look for shadow spells. Let's see if there's one that's closer to the, what I'm talking about. What do you want to know about it? Oh, I just wanted to know if it would help Delaware more or me more. Well, it'll definitely help someone who's trying to sneak or try to remain anonymous. And it does appear to have a slight, like if you're unarmored, it can prevent a little bit of you know kind of like a blur but not not 
not nearly as good as we're saying. So you have a, a piece of armor that will allow you to remain somewhat anonymous, and then we have that token, which will allow you to be kind of re remain anonymous. And then Brock can sneak, and I can go invisible. So it sounds like we can, all four of us, accomplish some sort of obscurity. Yeah, you take it, Delaware. I'm more the, uh, you know, brash, stand at the front, uh, punch people type thing. Kick, I think yeah, we could use you as great bait. Kind of guy. Yeah, we could all be sneaky and you could just waltz in. You know, <clears> fly through fly through the wall, punch a punch, bunch of people, and then fly away. That's, yeah, me. Duck when good. they throw the gun at you. <laughs> exactly. Uh, let's do it. Um... Yeah. So we're actually m met up, like, outside the gates. If I recall, right. is that right? Is that right? Okay. Well, you guys want to walk in there like idiots? That was our plan, Brock, is to pre pretend like we don't know what's going on and just kind of waltz in, uh, see if Ziggy needs our help uh, doing whatever kingly things he does. Uh, I don't know if we want to get any more intel, but it seems like you've been doing a lot of that. Got a lot of stuff, so. I mean, you know, I did what I could. <laughs> I'd like to dispel some illusions, stab some demons in the neck. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. Take it easy there. Well, uh, what do you think, guys? Is the plan still good? Do we just waltz in? Say hey? Killed some, killed some beasts? Made the, the realm safer? How's it going? What's happening? Sounds Got good to me. New cool riffs. Have you heard that new lag boot song? About how awesome we are? Exactly. Give it to us again. Yeah, let's... Oh, we're British. the greatest group of monster killers in the land. We're also really nice and we will give you the upper hand against the longest summer view you've ever seen. Let's Keep it nice, let's keep it clean. Having fun with the, the really cool adventures. Uh, I forgot the name of our crew, otherwise, I was going to try and remember <laughs> what, what was the name of our crew again? Bahum Clan. Ain't the Bahum. To with. <laughs> yeah. That's badass. Badasses badass. who use magic. The badasses you, who use magic, that's right. Delaware, are you wearing two different shoes and one of them is a slipper? Um, that same question. That's all the height of fashion kind of in the future, man. You need to up your, yeah. up your game let's, with your spray-painted fucking yes. armor. All... So, speaking of what we're wearing, if we're going to march in, do we want to use whatever means we have to, like, I don't know. What what appearance are we trying to give off when we're marching in playing dumb? I'm going to look like kind I mean, of the, what I looked like before, the merchant that I kind of looked like before when I first came here. I'm going to look. Nice. No one will suspect. I mean, I'm just gonna look cool in a in a. You know, I'm wearing my my new fancy armor from Leonard, but I'm gonna look like I'm still just not wearing a shirt and wearing a big red jacket. Yeah, I think he's trying to just like not like I'm all beat up, but just like you know, battle and travel weary. Hmm. Yeah, I look kind of like withdrawn and uh, slightly thinner from the first time I, I met with dark circles under my eyes, for sure. Like, without getting into the new token, like just using the old magic sleeves, like I want to, you know, some blood stains and mud stains and, you know, mm. just a little, you know, torn seams and stuff just 
just to look a little bit like it hasn't just been a, a walk in the park, but that I'm not I'm not injured. I'm not limping or anything, obviously. And one like one stain kind of near the crotch, but not near enough to where you might think it was pee, but kind of near enough to where you might think it was pee. <laughs> Catch twenty two right there. Brock looks like someone who's been on a week long bender fueled by nothing but stinky cheese and bowls of brown and flea bottom. <laughs> He's looking more ragged than any of us. He's looking pretty tattered. He's searching desperately for a place to leave an upper decker on any one of his enemies. Just anybody. All right, let's go, guys. Let's waltz into town. All right, gentlemen, you uh, have reconnoitered and reconvened and uh, <clears throat> come in through the south gate and entering in through the bottoms, flea bottoms, as it were. Uh, the stink is strong. And, uh, oh, wait, didn't you have a retinue? Didn't uh, the band that formerly known as Cigaros, but now with Ed Sheeran is the lead front man. Uh, now, now an unpronounceable mathematical symbol uh, for the name. Uh, aren't they like following you guys? Aren't they like, They're, did you guys want them oh, to follow you? No, I think they were, well, I don't remember them following us. I thought they were out and about spreading the, the new song. Ah, uh, that's right. Okay. So yeah, you guys, uh, you guys returned without too much uh, fanfare. And uh, you guys find yourself back in the city. It seems to be thriving, bustling. Everyone's out there selling their vegetables that they grew, thanks to all the sun that they now have access to. Um, uh, it seems like a bustling uh, town Reactive. or city. Uh, yeah, anyone who notices you, have, you know, you guys are trying to not draw attention, but people who notice you are like, this is the Bahoom clan, I heard about you, you guys saved, uh, you guys just saved uh, High Garden. The Reach was under attack of a giraffe fart beast. Um, every single person that recognizes us, I do a wink and a gun to. <laughs> every single one. Same, same thing. That's wink and a gun. Uh, women swoon, men feel look give that empowered look. Particularly like poor kid that I could uh, thumb a coin at. Oh, dude, that kid runs off all happy. Um... All right, I would like to uh... guys. Should we just go straight to the? The main keep and uh, find Ziggy. Yeah, let's do it, man. Uh, and uh, I say this within their brains: um, Should we confront him? What are we? What are we doing here? Well, we're playing <clears throat> him and seeing what what he's gonna do and what okay. he's gonna give us, and then yeah, see if anyone else is around. See if we can sense anyone else. And and before we go right yeah. in. Is there a way we can um, figure out how to nonchalantly cast, uh, you know, a uh, dispel one of your illusion spells that you uh, had prepared to kind of make sure we're seeing things straight? Um, I, I yeah, I mean, if we're waiting for him and he's about to see us, then uh, then I'll cast it, but. Uh... It only functions for like ten minutes, man. So we okay. have to be. And we should save it until. Let's just ask him if he's made any new friends recently. <laughs> Subtle. Okay, so what are you cat? What 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 spells are you casting before you run into him? You guys got plenty of time to cast spells between the time the guards let you into the castle and the major domo or whoever uh or whatever the equivalent of the major domo is at at uh in this particular hierarchy magic armor for sure uh, for me uh gives me five, five armor class nice 
Um, or four armor class. Four. Which room are we in? Like, where where are we being told to I think we're about um, to enter the key. You're on, yeah, you're heading towards the Great Hall. You have to travel. You have to pass through the gates. You have to pass through a couple of different... Uh, there's a courtyard you have to walk through. There's um, a staircase you have to ascend. There's an antechamber and a foyer. Um, you know, there's just a couple of there's there's some uh, castles to traverse before you get to the main hall, the great hall. Well, also, so as not to like annoy anybody in the party, um, I just start humming something kind of under my breath, but still, um, just just a little tune, you know. To, to, you know, like a Pink Panther type of shit going on under my breath. Trying not to be too obvious and annoying about it, but I'm humming a tune. Um, yeah, I'm going to cast Long Strider and Bark Skin. All right. Brock is going to have a prepared heightened awareness and a prepared to detect thoughts. Nice. Uh, alchemist, alchemies. Yes. Are you using your sipping jacket for them? Yes. Nice. Sick. That'll come in handy. I'll crack another beer then. I have gone through the true brewing cursed sour, delicious, I might add, and I am now going to drink a calabasa blanca by Jolly Pumpkin. They come in cans now. Cans are the best. Cans are great. Thing is, they're smaller than the the uh, the growler that the that the calabaza blanca traditionally comes in. Well, that's a little bit sad, but you can you can carry many cans. <clears throat> so the uh, the the uh, royal announcer says, the Bahum clan is entering. The Grand Chambers of His Royal Highness Bran. The Lord of Stardust. The King of Magic. The most highest of all lords. The seer beyond the veil. And, uh, the doors open, and there's a, uh, well, you guys remember what it looks like. Let's bring it up. The tang. It's looking pretty good, actually. It's been maintained. Oops. Doesn't look like that. Um, are all these motherfuckers in here? Yeah, it's a big room full of people uh, jockeying for talking. You know, if everyone wants to say something to the king, the king's looking pretty frickin' uh, uh, burnt out, sitting in his sitting in his uh, um, is that wheelchair? Is that actually? Tyrion, like, or, or, oh, like, sorry, is no, that, that, that's Tyrion a, meant mean, to be there. Yes, okay. no, you guys are confusing me. Tyrion appears right there, indeed. So, Brock, um, you have some sort of uh, way you can detect thoughts with your alchemy. Well, yeah, it's kind of driving him crazy right now, it's uh, not as specific as he'd like and he just imbibed it through the jacket on his way into the room so uh just surface thoughts um from any conscious creatures with an intelligence score of one or higher so basically i'm not just getting the ambient chatter of everybody in the room i'm also getting the ambient nonsense running through their idiot brains uh -oh. so Brock a very glazed, angry look <laughs> and starts shaking his head like he's got bees going for his ears. Shit. Um, so are we allowed to just go up and start 
Yeah, as you guys yeah. enter, oh, more than a, a few, few people notice you and are like, ooh, there's a Mahoom clan. And Bran says, Fair lords, ladies, <clears throat> our heroes of the realm, the Bahum clan has returned. Uh, if my information is correct, then they have they have saved the southern kingdoms from the monsters that have been destroying the civilization of our fair seven united kingdoms. Bahum clan, approach. I do like a sweeping bow, like a sweeping bow with a, you know, and a curtsy mixed in. And I like go up towards the uh, uh, brain. Yeah, how's it going, man? I mean, we're we're doing what we can with, uh, you know, what we got. Uh, defeated some monsters, but there's still some more. We'll, we just needed to make a pit stop and check in and see what's up. It is wonderful to have you return. He claps his hands. The public hearings have adjourned for the day. I will return. I will retire with my small council to discuss matters of great importance of the realm. I thank you all for your belief in what we are doing here. Can we have a moment to speak Everyone. in private? I ask with a flourish. Indeed. One moment, and everyone, uh, all the lords, vassals, retainers, knights, they all leave. Some of them kind of unhappily murmuring about, but I had a grievance. Um, and uh, the room is now cleared. The doors slam shut. We are now alone. Do I, do I detect any sort of like, Tyrion. yeah, is Tyrion like sweating? Is he had so many out, outwardly signs that he's been well, cast, he pretty, put to sleep, and kept in a dungeon shell? He looks pretty uh, just kind of so not... it's good to see you again, Tyrion. Did uh did you enjoy that tavern we recommended you stop at on the way back? I forgot completely about it. But I just remembered I had to do a thing in Flea Bottom. I must be going, if you don't mind. I hate to miss a small council event. Bran is like, oh, very, well, Tyrion, we could, very well, but please don't miss so many small council meetings in the future. And Tyrion yeah. uh, <clears throat> leaves. Yeah, tell, tell her hi for us, man. <laughs> yes, uh, that's, you sussed it out of me, gentlemen. Always with the whores. That's your good old Tyrion. <laughs> I uh, I say to everybody, I say to everybody using message that uh, that was an illusion. That wasn't the real Tyrion. Let's not forget that Tyrion is locked up in a dungeon somewhere. And I'll just give him a look like, yeah, we got it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just a reminder. Like, so you, because yeah. And Bran's like. Or the false king appearing as Bran. As, uh, I'm so glad to have you back. It is, it is absolutely hell to run a kingdom. It is so boring. It is so ungratifying. I can't even go outside. The sun never ceases, just beating down on the city. I stay in here all the time. Uh, yeah, I mean, it kind of sucks, but like, you know, you get a big floppy hat or something, man, and you go outside. Pimp hat? Uh, um, the king isn't supposed to wear floppy hats or something. I don't know. There's certainly a rule about, I don't know. 
I'm just tired of all these rules that the king is supposed to follow. <sighs> How much longer do you have to destroy the monsters in the north before you come back and assume your roles as the council members? Well, that is an interesting question, sir. Um, what do you know about the origin of these creatures? Presumably, presumably the ambient growth of magic needed something other than that once the dragon was destroyed. That, that I, I am not a monsterologist. Hmm. I'm an illusionist. Yeah, you're right. Gents. Yeah. Yeah take off in a minute. Lawrence got has had dinner ready for a while and just told me. Uh, Very good. We can bring this to a swift cliffhanger stay tuned next week kind of thing. I would appreciate that. I think I'll be able to be here next week. Yes. Yeah, we need back to, man. We awesome. should chat. We should chat, guys, because we need to decide whether or not we're going to confront him right now. We've got him alone. Uh, we don't know who his his person is, but we should just ask him straight up. Who's who's the person behind the scenes that is orchestrating this with you? Just confront him. Yeah. To, to, to think this one out between now and uh, yeah, we should look to talk about it and decide what we want to do. Yeah, let's uh, definitely uh, chat on the on the chat if we come up with any ideas. Uh, yeah, let's say it. And we if we got any questions for Dave? Let's say it. Um, yeah, sounds good to me. All right. Sorry to call it close. No, oh, quite that's all right. right. Political intrigue requires a lot of coordination. All right, gents. All right, we'll Don't see. have strangers on the chat over this week, and we'll play again same bat time, same Bardo channel. All right, see you next week. Awesome. Except for at six thirty. Peace. I'll be on time. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'll be there at six thirty. All right, <laughs> see y'all.